We're back with Ringo Starr. Peter Jackson is editing together this 54 hours of footage that was recovered yeah. from when you guys were doing the, the, the Get Back project, which yeah. obviously became several different albums, those recordings. But I've had a chance to see some of it. Uh, I think yeah. I can legally say I've seen I've seen some of it. And what strikes me is, is that while, you know, Paul or John is saying, well, let's try this. song. I wrote this song last night. Let me teach you Lady Madonna or whatever. Uh, or if George is is trying to teach you I Me My or something like that, yeah. you are never allowed to stop working because you're always at the kit. They're taking yeah. breaks while while yeah, somebody yeah. else is showing their song, but you're up yeah. there and you, you're rooted to the spot because they all need you for their songs. Were you the hardest working Beatle? Yeah. <laughs> it's official. But honestly, yeah, God, you really did look like you were... it from his own mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't. You did no, not I get a break. I had a little setup, a little table with a little drink or two on it and a pack of cigarettes, because in those days that's what we did. And uh, and I just hung out there, and if anybody started, I'm with you, brother. Yeah. That's how it was. You yeah. Know? It's extraordinary. I can't wait for... Have you seen any of that, any of the footage from that documentary that Peter Jackson's working on? I have, and Peter used to come into L.A. and he'd always come over, because I always moaned the original documentary was very narrow and yes. it was built around a moment of like eh! and uh and there was no joy in it no and i was there we were laughing we were the lads we would do this yeah and there was a little bit of tension no one can take that away but you know to use that moment and not use these 56 hours of unused film and so i was telling peter jackson my tale of that i've just told you and he, he would come in and he'd show me stuff on his ipad he'd come and sit around we'd look and he said look at this and we're laughing and and i told him that story that you know if i went to the toilet or to get a cup of tea one of them would be on the kit you know john paul or george would be banging those drums every, every guitarist wants to be a drummer in fact every band member wants to be the drummer and uh so he shows me in the clip you've probably seen that, you know, we're playing a song and, and suddenly we cut to George, we cut to John, we cut to Paul. And they all had different styles. You know, it was so great. But I was set up in my little corner, the, the drum session corner I went to, and I could live out there, cigarette, have a drink, and play for you. Well, I can't, I can't wait for people to get a chance to see um, certainly what Peter has put together Oh, it's and so great. It, it's uh, so amazing. I haven't seen a final cut. I've only seen bits of it. But what yeah, yeah. what comes through start strikingly is because you know I I, I have not a, a the I have a great love of the Beatles, but I have a very pedestrian knowledge of the last couple of years of the Beatles together. And of course, I had all this strife in my head, all these stories of the strife. Yeah. But this supposedly one of the most strife filled recording sessions. You guys are having so much fun. You clearly just love each other so much. That is the yeah, yeah. most clear thing, is that even yeah. after the fights, it's hugs and kisses and, yeah, and yeah. absolute, you're just, it's brotherhood the entire time. And brothers yeah. fight. I, that's what we keep saying. You know, you, we, we have a row and okay, it's over then. You know what I mean? You get over it. And, uh, but that was taken. The best thing that came out of the original documentary was we played on the roof. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we did this all the time. Okay, we're going to play live. I loved it. Because there's a section now, Paul says, well, who wants to play live? And I, said, I do. And where we'd say, yeah, we've got to do it like in Egypt with the pyramids or up Mount Everest or Hawaii in the volcano. Oh, sod it. Let's just walk across the road, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and just all the covers are pretty easy. <laughs> And, yeah. Well, there's even even that moment, even the rooftop moment, is far more complete and joyous and planned, and it's not at all what has been built up to be about it. It's 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 oh. it's a it's a joyous and complete moment up there. I love it now. And, I love it now. Yeah. Sent me some stuff to look at or brought it. It's not gonna, in the pandemic. And like everything else, it was put off to this year. We hope it'll show this year. I'm I'm sure it will, and it's going to blow people away, and it's going to change everyone's thoughts 
about yeah. what the relationship was toward the end of the Beatles for everybody. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, let's see here. We got peace and love coming in the form of Zoom In from Ringo Starr this Friday and the book on Ringo's 30 years with the All-Stars. Ringo, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I just may mention you can also get Zoom In on cassette. You can... You're kidding. You can okay, get on Okay, bye. Ca... <laughs> Ringo Starr, everybody. All of it also available on 8-track tape. And Edison Cylinder. We'll be right back.